Conley, the Raiders' first-round pick from last year, is actually suing the woman who alleged him of assault back right around draft time, basically saying um, she cost it basically ruined defamation ruined his draft stock cost him endorsements and really just messed up his whole credibility and, and his life yeah and for nothing and all i want to say to that is yeah man kenny's kenny's been on here preaching um holding women who falsely accuse men accountable so yeah, because I'm tired of seeing black men's lives destroyed by false allegations. I'm tired of seeing Does she it. have any money to pay him, though? Like, is, we don't, it's the same thing with the Briar Banks. thing with the Briar Banks chick. No, she was, for all intents and purposes, she was the bust down that night. That's in certain circles. When you bring girls over like that with all those athletes, things are going to, X rated things are happening in that room. Can we just be honest? And in this particular case, with him. He didn't want to do anything. Kicked her out. She got mad. And I swear, like, it's weird. No, I'm going to save it for our segment for later. But I got a story some similar to this. But, yeah, um, people who do that, especially the girl who... The only reason why I think Ruby Foster won't take legal action against his ex-girlfriend is because, it's like, just leave well enough alone. You don't really have any moral high ground in the situation because, well, sorry, but your reputation precedes you as you being violent and making not good decisions. And having this woman around you was also a not good decision on your part. So, yeah, he's probably just going to have to just take that one on the chin. But Conley, Conley should sue and let it be known and let it be public record that this woman lied. And I sued you in court. And even if it's for like $2. I just want everyone to know what you did. And the last point on this whole NFL off off the field stuff that's going on. We're going to smack uh, up Jameis? Yeah, Jameis Winston, his Uber driver, the one that was alleging him of assault, basically came out and um, said she was proud of the NFL for taking action against him. But um, I, I don't have the full statement in front of me, but that was pretty much the synopsis of it. She felt that he conducted by touching her he conducted an inappropriate and sexual manner without her consent that was the pull quote from the actual statement even though i don't have the full one in front of me i'm just tired of him doing dumbass stuff like i can't with so many people who deserve the benefit of the doubt like i just mentioned he does dumb shit like this. And you giving Jameis the benefit of the doubt because... I was a man with the crab leg thing. Especially the past couple of years where he's been well, like the Florida, quiet. The Florida State thing, I was like, nah. Give this young black man a chance. Because guess what? Jameis hasn't been actually taken to court about any of this. And I like he proved in college, he proved the allegations were false, whatever. Things happen. But I remember uh, it was a quarterback... Um, under him, I think it's I forget his name. But when is a, the NFL going to hold him and Ronald Darby accountable for lying? Though, like, uh, are we, we just going to let that slide under the rug? The, are you not going to address the, that part of the argument? I'm on. Un, I'm unpacking everything. <laughs> uh, there's about eight. Well, things, don't unpack, there's about unpack eight too long because we got a yeah. NBA guest calling pretty soon. So don't cut me off then. But the thing is, in this case, he hasn't been charged. With anything. It's just an allegation, but based off his past behavior, we tend to believe it. You take that into account with the fact I look at a guy like Johnny Manziel, who's a known woman beater, a uh, drug addict, and has no business playing in the NFL, but still was getting offers. Um, but it just shows in America white men can do no wrong. Uh, people still trying to like cheer him on. And give him a second chance. Like, they were forced. At, at one point, can we be honest? The media and the Cleveland Browns were forcing Johnny Manziel on all of us. And we're like, nah, fam, he can't play. Um, this Jameis cat is different because he can play. But it's like, right when you think he's going to, like, jump the hurdle and just do better, like, he knocks everything over, just ruins everything. 
I think, like you I said just, last I week, don't understand how you keep shitting and falling back in it. Yeah, I don't understand exactly. <laughs> Get a moral compass, dog. Like you got a fiance. He said he swore off liquor. Liquor does not. Okay, first off, I've had liquor before. Pete's had liquor before. Many Guess times. What? Too many times. Too many times. Too many times. Um, liquor does not make you make bad decisions. Liquor being an entitled dumbass makes you make dumb decisions. Thank you. Liquor just gets you drunk and does what you probably already wanted to do anyway. Liquor liquor just takes away that one thin layer of oh. conscience that you have. Oh fuck it's that you had left to give. Yeah, and it just pretty much makes it go all in. Whatever. Whatever you're doing. That's the good thing and the bad thing about liquor because what it, however you're feeling, it just amplifies it. Whether you're depressed, whether you want to go out and have fun. Whatever the case is, liquor is just that multiplier. And so if you're Especially already if you a, a harasser or you're already an abuser, whatever your personality is and how you are as a person, alcohol is only going to make that worse. And some people can handle it. Many people can't. And I don't know Jameis's case, but... He got some issues. Because like when you're loud and belligerent and out of control when you're drunk, you got some inner demons you need to probably go get some therapy on. Like all, like Alden Smith, perfect example. That dude shouldn't have been around. R.P. Alden. He's not dead, but his career is. Yeah. Uh, like, just certain cats, you got to keep them away from certain things. Certain people, you got to keep them away from stuff. And it's good that he's not drinking liquor anymore. But honestly, I think his girlfriend should have the right to just smack his ass upside the head every time he says something out loud that's stupid. Just smack the shit out of the back of his head. Yeah, I think every Tampa Bay Buccaneers fan should just have that right because no, 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 no. Their team has been trash. First off, it's Florida. It's a racist. Their team has been trash. It's Florida. It's a racist ass state with a bunch of racist ass white people and Zimmerman still walking around. So nah, uh, you you no, you'll get curb stomped on your mother's birthday. I don't play that shit. Um, when it comes to that state, they have no more authority on shit. I don't want to hear anything from Florida. No, we could go all day on that. But when it comes to this, Mike Evans should be like, I'm going to slap the shit out of you every time I see you. Just, even if you didn't do anything wrong, just to let you know, this is what pain feels like and loss. And, so stop doing dumb shit, please. And, and real quick, please. Real quick, shout out to all the people in Make the. black man look bad. Shout out to all the people in the group chat Keith, Ms. Mocha, X Squad Affiliates, good news. Everyone in there, shout out to all y'all. Uh, we got a guest coming up soon to break down the NBA free agency live on Touchdowns and Tangents on the Good News Radio Station app and website. And we'll be taking calls later in like the 9 o'clock hour. Yeah, so tune in for that. The number is 323-900-0478. Yeah, but like way in the 9 o'clock hour, like 930-ish, I guess. Depends how the show goes. Yeah, man. Pete's looking at me like you fucked everything up. Yeah, pretty much. And Whatever. I don't, even, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> For real, stop looking at me like that. Get to the next thing. I guess the biggest thing is, and since we're on West Coast bias here, we are on the West Coast. NBA free agency. L.A. Braun is official, and I'm really not here for it. I'm not here to hear. I'm not here to hear Lakers fans talk about their fifth seed ass team. All damn year. And if ESPN... <laughs> can I go on my rant? Damn. And if ESPN was on LeBron's enough before, now that he's in LA, it's going to be an all-out love fest on every single damn show because ESPN is pretty much LeBron and Tom Brady. And if you listen to sports radio, you pretty much know that. Oh, that was, perfect. That was quick. Perfect timing. Hello, T- caller. Hello, caller. Uh, state your name, where you're from, and what's your favorite color? Wow. Just cause. Bob Garcia. The and fourth. I'm, of course. Yeah, the fourth. And our favorite color is dark blue. Wow. I thought, you were, I thought you were going to say some corny purple and gold, but you're being objective. He's nah, nah. not a trash Clippers fan. <laughs> uh, I, I've been listening to you guys for the last 15 minutes, and... Uh, yeah, I kind of do with the Kenny. I'm on as far as famous. Watch that do with uh, <laughs> It just it just seems like he just doesn't learn, and he 
doesn't have a moral compass, like you said. So it's, I know I didn't come on and talk about that, but I have a lot. I would have a lot to say about that. But just to sum it up, I guess you, you pretty much gave what the perspective I have. We we appreciate that. For those of you who don't know, Bob Garcia, he's a writer for. Cl- clutch points and various other websites including sports out west he's a lakers beat reporter and he's a friend of the show always comes on here and gives us some nba stuff as well as well just being an angelino and being a journalist so we appreciate that definitely i appreciate you guys bob so where were you when you got the news (laughs) or the the release or whatever however you found how did you find out that lebron was coming <laughs> and where were you laughing at a clipper daryl's tweets <laughs> uh yeah a couple of those tweets, but uh i was actually in my room just typing uh and i you know i was just checking i kept checking twitter just to see what you know what's going on and as soon as i saw Woj just tweet it, i didn't believe it then i saw you know the other day, top tier reporter you know cam and uh, it's just, it's still hard to believe that it happened. It, I mean, I, it, for me, I know it's, it, it, it's, it's pretty much said in stone that he's coming, but it, it, it doesn't seem real because it's, it, you know, all the chatter there, you know, all the tea leaves saying that, you know, they've been in towards he's leaning towards coming to Los Angeles. It, it just seemed like, oh, rumor, you know, maybe he has interest. And, uh, it just, you know, it, it wasn't expected, I can tell you that. I mean, I, I I thought he would get a couple more days, but it's something that I guess he really, you know, wanted to make fast, quick, and uh, you know, something that's more more decisive, not drawn out. And yeah, I mean, I I'm still surprised that it, it, it happened and it still hadn't sunk in. Uh, but I I know that it's going to be a lot, a lot of craziness. You know, from the start of the season, the preseason, it's just there's going to be a lot of chatter, a lot of excitement. You know, for this team, regardless if they compete or not, you know, for a title, um, it's it just there's a buzz that hasn't been here in like five seasons, and um, or at least at least five seasons. Um, and yeah, you know, give my feelings on it. Just I still shocked that it happened. Uh, wait, as a fan, who was the first person uh, you texted or texted you about the news? My, uh, I actually called my brother. Uh, my brother is a big Lakers fan, and. Um, and I think Pete, I think he might like this. He lo- he loves the Raiders as well. Uh, <laughs> he, he he's a big Lakers fan, and I called him. And he, I mean, I guess the best perspective I guess from a fan would be my brother, given what he and I called him, and he had no idea. Uh, he had no idea what was happening, and he was just in complete shock, and he was just so excited about uh, you know, all the things that come about. And he's like, I can't, I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy a jersey. I'm gonna buy a jersey. He kept telling me that, and um, it's just. You know, it's just new excitement. It's just it's it's crazy. I mean, I I, I call I you know called family or and you know, text other you know friends that are in the media like just 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 shocked that, that it's it's happening and you know it's really gonna you know, he's really gonna play in Los Angeles and join you know be the latest you know great player to don a Lakers uniform. So, um, two questions here. Uh, right. for, two questions here. Uh, first. Is there any possible way, and I hope this doesn't happen, but I have to ask it just for professional reasons. Does J.R. Smith end up on the Lakers? <laughs> Stop! <laughs> I need to know. I, I, think, I think if you see that still image of LeBron's face and his arms po- you know, pointing to the left, I, I think LeBron's face says it all. <laughs> that, you know, there's no chance that that happens. Granted, you know he probably respects him and would you know, help help them help them bring a chance to succeed them. But I, I, I honestly, I mean, I know he's done a contract, but this is no way that wait Jr. They go that route again. Jr. helped. Jr. <laughs> I, I don't think, know. Jr. 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 regressed. You know, he, his games regressed. Did you know, he regress or did he go back to what he was after having two really good seasons? That 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 could be a fair argument as well. And uh, also, I think JR LeBron Smith would rather have team. Dang's contract than J.R. Smith at this point. <laughs> like, let's be real. Like, he'd rather have Dang. <laughs> like, he'd probably rather, yeah. I'd rather have Adam Morrison's yeah. contract. Well, wow. it's someone who actually uses their head. I know you're just throwing out there just to see what a reaction, but it, it, yeah, I think that chapter is done. <laughs> cool. 
Okay, now serious question. <laughs> in terms of the Clippers, and this comedian Corey, Hol- comedian Corey Holcomb said it best. Uh,